Welcome to Art de Nam. Our channel is a passion project with an aim to introduce Vietnam's traditional and historical art in English. For our first ever episode, we would like to feature one of the most significant paintings of Vietnam in the 20th century, Young Woman by the Tuberose by Tô Ngoc Vân. The painting, uh, as you have, might have seen somewhere, was created in 1943 by Tô Ngoc Vân, uh, one of the four most famous Vietnamese painters of the 20th century. He was born in 1908. Uh, he started his career during the French colonial period in Vietnam, and he was actually the first principal for the Vietnam National Art University. He then died in 1954 after fighting in the famous Battle of Dien Bien Phu. His most well-known work, Thiêu Nữ Bên Hoa Huệ, which in English is Young Woman by the Tuberose, also has a very curious fate. Um, the painting depicted a young woman, uh, Miss Sao, a muse in a lot of Vân's paintings. He, she was sitting by a vase of white tuberose flowers. Now, these flowers were a favorite of the Hanoi's well-to-do families at that time. The white colors also symbolize the ladies' innocence and purity, so a very traditional representation of the Vietnamese woman. However, the outside that the young lady was wearing, uh, which is a Vietnamese traditional dress, was actually a modern design for that time. And so a lot of people argue that her portrait was actually a blend of feminine tradition and feminist modernity. The painting received a lot of recognition and praise when it first appeared in an exhibition in 1945. Well, after Tung Ho Phan passed away, his family left the painting behind in their home in Hanoi when they were evacuated for war. And once they came back, the painting was gone. Uh, but it later emerged belonging to a very famous private collector at the time, Mr. Phạm Đức Minh. The painting remained in his possession for a long while until he proposed to donate his whole collection to the National Art Museum of Vietnam in exchange for having his own wing at the museum for display. The museum, however, did not like the proposal, as Ming was not a Communist Party member at the time. So he passed away, and then his children sold the painting to another collector for a very good sum of money, who then sold it to another foreign art collector. So the painting's current whereabouts today are unknown, despite being one of the most well-recognized paintings in Vietnam, and is still constantly being replicated on numerous items such as keychains, souvenirs, posters all over the country. Another fun fact, uh, the painter Tung Ngoc Vân had a greater Mercury name after him in 2011, so he's now remembered forever, universally. So that is for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram, Art Thank you and see you soon.